Welcome to the Fishbowl Radio, everybody. My name is Chief, and with me for our little spring thing that we always do every week, but uh, not the last two weeks. I got a good reason behind. Well, actually, if you want to take three weeks, maybe it's been two or three weeks, Juicy. Yeah, uh, it, it, it now well, it was going on. I know we ain't doing the last two weeks, so we've been on the air in three weeks. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. If you were wondering what has been going on with the Fishbowl Radio, we had some big things happen, <laughs> just involving different things going on. Uh, been busy. Spring break, we decided not to do one because, you know, we could have done an episode. We, me and my contra, I talked about it, and well, we didn't. I didn't let Juicy know about it because, uh, I mean, Juicy had some other busy things going on with his personal life, so we didn't worry about it. You know, death in the family kind of thing. Uh, so we just kind of, kind of just did that. So we wanted to like, you know, give everybody the reason why we didn't go in there. The reason is, um, we decided to kind of just get away from it for a little while. Two weeks, kind of get back, recharge our batteries, and go back into this thing again because you know running this show every week is kind of difficult because the problem we have is having Mike on the air which uh, me and Mike's going to the ice skaters game tonight uh, by the way uh, ice skaters uh, they have clinched a playoff spot Juicy what? yeah they they got the playoffs in the SPHL they, they go into the playoffs so they're going to do team posters tonight uh, you can get a free team poster, get it all signed by the players and everything if you go to the Cajun Dome tonight, starting at 7 o'clock. You have the Louisiana Ice Gators uh, playing tonight, so it should be a fun game. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to go. My Eunice friends want to do something, so I don't know. Okay. But, of course, they haven't decided on what they want to do. As you know. Yeah, I understand. It's uh, perfectly fine. Um Tomorrow, very big day for UL. UL Lafayette is having their spring game happen. They're going to be uh, playing their spring game at 2 o'clock. I'm not going to be there for a long time. I'm going to be there for like 30 minutes at the most because I have to go run to Walk-On's bar. And no, I'm not going to get drunk at Walk-On's. Um, <laughs> I am going to go... Help out a celebrity rock, paper, scissors tournament. That's right. They have a couple of people that y'all should know very well if these names come, if you're a big LSU fan or a big Raging Cajun fan, you, these names should come up in there. Um, Saturday, April 9th, which is tomorrow, Kevin Falk is going to be over there. Early do set. Jacob Kutera, Keelan Williams, Sidney Grider. Matt Flynn, Brandon Mitchell, Charles Alexander, Michael Lewis, a.k.a. The Beer Man, Jake DeLone, Buford Jordan, Leonard Marshall, Trev Falk, Corey Webster, Mel Mitchell, and Ricky Johnson. They are all scheduled to appear at the Kevin Falk Foundation First Annual Rock, Paper, Scissors Tournament. Uh, registration is free. Register at www.trinityfoundationla.org. Free to play public, ten dollars each to play against a celebrity. Thirty minutes cele- uh, <clears throat> excuse me, thirty minutes celebrity autographs for a donation is sponsored by Walk Ons and the Trinity Foundation of Louisiana. So yeah, I'll be over there at uh, three. So. Want to go. Yeah, this is it's gonna be a fun one. Uh, me and a I, one of the professors at UL and. Is uh, gonna be over there. I think Mike is gonna go to. I think Mike's gonna is scheduled to show up as well. So I haven't gotten in touch with Mike. I'll know about the details later on tonight, just in case uh, any of Fishbowl Nation wants to go make a little trip to Walk Ons at three o'clock. They'll be over there. So yes. Yes. anybody come though, not just Fishbowl Nation, everybody. Come. Yeah, the public's invited. Everybody come. If you don't listen to the show, I mean, share this with your friends. It's going to be a very fun time. It's a great way to give back to the community. And at the, as the Fishbowl Radio, we already do. We always make sure we give back to the community in little ways like me and Mike volunteering 
and stuff like that. I love to volunteer. It's a very good way to get back to the community for everything they've done for us. We appreciate everything they've done for us. Um, now, now that we got all those announcements out the way, let's get down to business, Juicy. We have two baseball teams that have already played each other this year. LSU beat UL earlier on in the season. LSU LSU has been having kind of a rough sledding in the SEC so far this year. Well, they've won four straight games. Now they even beat number three ranked Vanderbilt last night, 13 so they got to win two, one, or one of the next two, and I'll be pretty happy. That'll be their second conference series win in a row if they can. If they can win tonight against tonight against they did win last night against Vanderbilt, winning thirteen to four over Vandy. Tonight's going to be a very interesting game for LSU. Um, you you come, I don't know. They got Alex Lang pitching and he's struggling. He's got a five point oh two ERA that I saw last night. Yeah, and he's. Two and two, or something like that. So the question is, Juicy, how you think uh, this game is going to play out for LSU against a uh, number six ranked team, Vanderbilt? LSU's number fifteen well, right now. Well, I know LSU's offense has struggled. They really haven't had the big bats this year until well, last night they did. Of course, Vandy <laughs> had four errors, so they kind of shot them all the foot. But they scored thirteen runs. I tell you what, if they can. If the big bats can show up again tonight, but uh, I think Vandy's going to play a lot better tonight too. So I expect it to be a tighter game, but I do expect Vandy to win the pitching matchup, which I think ultimately Vandy probably is going to win tonight. But I think LSU can pull it off Saturday with John Valick the third or whatever his name is. So you got LSU winning this series against Vanderbilt? After how? After I saw the game last last, last night, yes, I think they can pull off the series. You know, this has been a very interesting uh, season for LSU. They lost a lot of people last year. That's been well documented. Uh, Jared Poche did pretty good in his in the last night. He held Vandy. Jared Poche had eight Ks. So I mean, he, he done his job. I mean, he's got thirty six strikeouts on the year before that game was even aired. Um, Jordan <laughs> Jordan Sheffield did not have a good night for Vanderbilt at all. I mean, he kind of got knocked around a little bit by LSU's big bats. Like you said, they came alive last night. LSU has to put up with Kyle Wright tonight at Vanderbilt. He's got a one point six ERA. That is Vanderbilt's ace. That is yep. Vanderbilt's ace. He's gonna uh, he's gonna put up some uh, he's gonna I think LSU's bats are gonna struggle tonight against Kyle Wright because I mean Kyle Wright's been pretty good all year long he's four and one this year when he does <laughs> yeah I, that, that's why I don't think they're gonna win tonight I uh, and uh, you documented Alex Lang's uh, struggles this year pitching with a five run ERA so far so yes if Alex Lang is taking a step back this year we all thought that he would be the next. Aaron Nola or somebody, but he's actually taking a step back this year. You know, they call a sophomore slump. Well, he definitely isn't one right now. I mean, hey. But, you know, I think he'll come back. Yeah, he's only... He, he, he'll he come back, I think. I mean, LSU's 19-9 this year, 4-5 and five in the SEC so far. So, LSU, this would be a huge series win for LSU. This if would... they win tonight or, or Saturday. Yeah. It's all going to depend on a couple of things, and then their next SEC series is against at Missouri. And then, Which I think they're probably going to win that one. Well, they have McNeese and Grambling in between them, but you know what? McNeese is actually a pretty good baseball program themselves. I have a classmate that pitches for McNeese, so I mean, they McNeese. You would you would think they they wouldn't be that good, but they're actually pretty good. Uh, Basically, almost every Louisiana baseball team is pretty good or decent, you know? Because Louisiana... Yeah, Tulane sucks. Wait, what? Tulane sucks. Well, they um, sucks. Yeah. Tulane sucks. Well, a lot of baseball programs go pretty good deep if they get a chance to go. Uh, Tulane, Louisiana they... Louisiana Tech's not doing that great. Tulane actually beat LSU this year. They also beat the Cajuns as well. <laughs> But that was only one game, though. Well, I mean, we can see how it is. I mean, LSU had beat UL 8-5 to this year.
But like you had said with Vanderbilt, well, you all had like four errors, so I think it'd been a closer game. I think you all had actually out hit LSU, but you know it don't matter because you got to get the runs across the plate. Timely hitting is a huge thing in baseball as well. Yeah, that's uh, you gotta. Well, I think LSU needs to win this conference series to give them a boost because I think I think they'll probably end up winning the Missouri series. But looking further down the line, you got Mississippi State, Arkansas, and you got to go on the road against Tennessee. You even had a two game stretch against at Notre Dame. Ole Miss is another series too. You can't overlook. And they got Florida closing out the season May 21st. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be a real fun game. Yeah, this, this note I'm looking at is kind of old. I mean, well, actually, it is old because they just have the three games up. Pitching matchups and stuff like that. So I apologize for that, folks. <laughs> We're working with. Uh, that. Yeah, we got a correction. Okay, um, LSU's five and five this year, and I guess they're twenty and nine <laughs> since they yeah. won. This one's showing nineteen and nine. So Vanderbilt's twenty four and six, and they're six and four in the SEC. So this win would actually help LSU a lot because they win. They're six and five. Vanderbilt's six and five. They're tied with Vanderbilt in the SEC. So. That would help out LSU a lot. So, uh, you want my prediction? I think LSU does lose game two to Vanderbilt. I don't think they're going to completely sweep Vandy because if they do, that would be a huge win for LSU's baseball program. I honestly already thought that Vandy was going to sweep LSU because of how LSU was struggling. I honestly thought Vandy was going to be easy for Vandy, but, but I, I was shocked they was up 13 and nothing going up until the top of the ninth inning last night. Well, I think, uh, but here's where I think game three comes a very in Hayden Stone and John Valak, the Valak, third. He's, he's, he's been a huge surprise this year, John Valak, the third, or whatever. Well, um, I want to pit Vanderbilt in game three, but I'm going to go with LSU pulling it off because I think they will win the game three LSU because. I don't know if I've seen enough from Hayden Stone this year. I mean, he's only lost one game, a 3-4-4 ERA. That's what they're expecting to pitch. So, based on that, this is the this week also marks the first Vanderbilt's first visit of Baton Rouge since 2012. <laughs> That's been a while. It's been a while. So, yeah, that was a bad year for LSU. I remember they came and destroyed LSU. Yeah, they posted a two to one series win back then against LSU, but the overall series LSU is fifty five and forty against Vanderbilt. So I mean, it's kind of a competitive series if you think about it in terms of baseball. Uh-huh. So I got uh, LSU win the series uh, two to one. What you got, Juicy? I have them two to one as well. After I saw how they played last night, I'm a little bit more confident in. I'm more confident going two out of three to LSU because before they played, I thought Vandy was going to sweep them. Well, this is very interesting. Uh, if LSU can easily get on the road, I mean, win at home, then it'll make a road trip to Missouri that much easier. You get confidence from knocking off the number two team in a series in the country. I mean, they struggled against Texas A&M, but it looked like Texas A&M so far since that series has kind of went down a little bit. You know, because as you see, everybody's like, uh, everybody's beating each other up. It's like it's like we talk about. You need that. Sometimes you just you gotta play together long enough, and you can start pulling off, and you can start stringing some wins together and pulling it together. Well, I thought LSU would either take a step back this year, or they would, or hope, hope that they would pull it together towards the end or halfway through the season. And, well, you know what? It's in the NCAA tournament. Uh, you know how I've been griping about the Cajuns being so inconsistent with what they want need to do and stuff? 
I've been kind of griping on the Cajuns a little bit because they, I was like, man, they can't seem to get this thing going right. When they lost to LSU, I was they're like, they're not even ranked anymore. Yeah, they're not ranked right now, but they may be pretty soon. 